Hi, I'm Jay Goldman, and you are watching Mr. Mobile on Butterscotch.com. Today we're going to take a look at something that's really cool called QR codes. You may actually have seen these printed on posters while you're walking around town or maybe on some products that you bought. They look like this weird grid of sort of black and white splotchy stuff, usually with some squares in the corners. They're actually the moder modern form of the barcode. So we've all seen products that have the numeric barcode on the bottom and uh, anything you've ever bought in a grocery store, for example, has one so that they can scan it as you're going through the checkout. Now, this doesn't encode a whole lot of information. It's actually a very small amount of information, usually just the numbers that you see underneath the barcode in barcode form so that a computer can easily read them. QR codes are the modern evolution of that and they can encode a lot more data in this shape. Now we've printed this one out really large so that you can see it. QR codes can actually be reproduced at a very, very small size. Sometimes you might, for example, buy a package of aspirin or something and turn them over and you'll see a little square like that on the bottom of it. So this will eventually take place entire, replace entirely barcodes. That'll take a while as the whole infrastructure gets updated. But one of the places QR codes are really starting to make a big appearance is in advertising intended to be used with mobile phones. So I've got both an iPhone and a uh, and Google N1 here running Android OS. Both of them, and for Blackberries, you'll easily find QR code readers out there. Just search in the respective app stores. I think looking in the Google Marketplace or App Marketplace on the Android, we probably found about 10 or 15 different QR code readers. So just search in there. You'll find lots of different ones. I'm running on uh, the iPhone here. We've got one called called Enigma, and that allows you to uh, sort of scan codes, track a history, and that kind of thing. And uh, on the Android device here, we're running one called Barcode Scanner, which also does sort of similar things. Um, in either case, you basically just position the reader, which will show you a live feed from the camera on your device, in front of the QR code. It will sort of scan it for you. And in this case, it will pull up some text that's encoded in there. So we're not actually even going to a website URL. We're just pulling up some text. And in this case, it's actually a quote from The Big Lebowski featuring the dude. You can also use these to take pictures of things that have a URL encoded in them. So if you're walking down the street, for example, and you see a poster promoting a movie, you'll increasingly see a QR code printed directly on the poster. Just pull out your phone, snap a picture of that, and it will take you directly to the movie's website. So it's a way to avoid having to remember a whole URL and try and type it in on your phone's keyboard. Just switch into your QR code reader, take a picture of it, and you're off to the races. You're also going to start to see these used in kind of innovative ways, like, for example, at conferences. So if people's name tags have the QR code printed on them, you can take a picture with your phone and get their contact information. One of the types of things you can encode in a QR code is contact information. And so in that case, you meet somebody at a conference, oh, very nice to meet you, and you say, you know what, I'd really like to get in touch with you later. Just take out your phone, grab a picture of the QR code printed right on their name tag, and you've got their contact information right in your phone. The nice thing about these is that orientation actually doesn't matter. So I can take a picture of this sideways. I can take a picture of it right up and down. Doesn't make any difference, so I don't have to spend a whole lot of time aligning myself while I'm grabbing the picture. And that really makes it handy for places like conferences because I can hold my phone this way or this way. Works either way. There are some QR code creation tools out there on the web. So for example, if you wanted to create your own QR code, you could go to qrcode.kiwa.com and you'll find that in the show notes on butterscotch.com. And that will allow you to create a QR code much like this one. You can print it out, you can save it as an image and put it up on a website. You can put it up on a poster if you're making posters. You can also download QR code creation applications on your mobile device. We've got one actually on this Android device which allows us to create QR codes directly on here. That's a little a little less useful than it would be to create it on a web browser, but if you're out mobile somewhere and you want to create one and then allow somebody to take a picture, the one that we're running on here will actually allow you to create a QR code from your contact information and then somebody else can just snap a picture of your phone screen and they've got your contact info. So keep an eye out for QR codes. Grab a QR code reader for your phone right now so you don't forget. And then the next time you're out on the street somewhere and you see a poster with a QR code printed on it or on a package, take a picture of it and see where it takes you. I'm Jay Goldman. This has been Mr. Mobile on Butterscotch.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.